every day, one by one. I'm gonna try every recipe of Laura, starting from the very beginning. Come, join me on my challenge. Let's go! Hi everyone! My name is Ruta and welcome to the 250... 50? 40? 48th? Yeah! <laughs> Some day of my challenge where I'm gonna try a really interesting recipe for me. I love such kinds of days where I'm trying recipes which I basically have no idea what I'm gonna try. Uh, and it's sauce, wait, sausage? Sausage stuffing, yeah, I believe that's the name. Like, it's such a weird name for me. I would think when I read it, when I read the name, that it will be a recipe like literally to make the sausage mix, like basically your home <laughs> made sausages. Uh, clearly that's not the thing in America. So we don't really stuff, stuff like chicken or turkey, we don't really cook turkey that much. My family tried the whole bird and saw the whole bird when I cooked it for the very first time on this challenge of mine. So yeah, like sausage stuffing, I don't know. I'm really curious to see how it will be though. Looking at the ingredients, I'm waiting for something really yummy. The bread is kind of weird. I don't know I'm saying. <laughs> this is really, really new for me. And I'm quite familiar with cultures of three countries, Lithuania. Well, I shouldn't say quite familiar. <laughs> Oh well, <laughs> Turkey and Iran, because I'm residing mostly in these three countries uh, for the past five years or so. It's mainly in Iran, and then sometimes in Lithuania, and a little bit in Turkey. I'm like getting so sidetracked, even though I know that this intro will be so long. So brace yourself. For that reason, I have these here if you want to just click ahead and go watch the actual <laughs> recipe. But before that, uh, as I am treating this challenge of mine and this ch channel, and these intros is kind of like little entries of diary almost, like food-wise, uh, because I am trying every single recipe for the first time. Sometimes I have more ideas about what's to come. <laughs> and sometimes uh, it's really interesting to just look back and see what I was thinking going into something and how it ended up. So also I want to mention a couple of things and then just like share some thoughts, which I'm already doing. Excuse me, excuse for my chat it is. I just had a cup of coffee and I feel like, you know, sharing my thoughts with you. So the first thing I wanted to mention is the actual Italian turkey sausage. If you've been with me for a while, then you know that I cannot really find uh, like meat, raw meat kind of sausages in Iran. And whenever I had something like that come up in a recipe, I was usually skipping them. Not usually, I was skipping them until one day it was... It just dawned on me, wait, you can actually make it yourself. So and that's what I did for today's recipe, especially because you're supposed to take out the meat from the sausages and like remove the links and use just the meat inside. So it's just perfect. So if you also cannot find like meat sausages or this particular one, Italian turkey sausage, then I will leave all the like measurements and all the dif different ingredients, I should say spices, I uh, used for this mix. Um, so you can check it out and I can throw in a link where I'm trying it for the first time, just you know, for the heck of it. The other thing I want to mention is poultry seasoning. Now, recently I've come to terms that I'm a spices junkie. <laughs> I have so many spices, it's ridiculous, but I just somehow love, love it so much. I open my spices like this, uh, it's not a drawer, how do you call it? Like a, I don't even know, like, let's say, open the door <laughs> of some, uh, wait, what is, it? what is it called now? I cannot remember the name. Mm. Like cupboard, cupboard, cupboard door. Yes. 
so I open the door and it's like so pretty it's all full actually to the extent that I actually needed to move away some spices to some other places just because they weren't fitting there and it's really funny having in mind that I'd say maybe three quarters or like maybe two thirds of my spices are already in another country not here with me and the fact that I could make not only poultry seasoning but the Italian turkey sausage mix from the like spices I have makes me really surprised and when you look in the written recipe and see just how many spices there are in these mixes I think you will understand why <laughs> so anyways um, I made the poultry seasoning blend myself as well just because as I mentioned I have so many spices I really don't see the point in buying like ready mixes so if you're like me and love spices and have lots of spices just check the uh, written recipe so you could see what spices you could use to make your own poultry seasoning blend and the last thing I promise, uh, which I wanted to share with you, it's kind of funny. Okay, how to say this? This recipe calls for stale bread, but for the amount, which normally I don't think you would find at home, uh, just because you know bread is something you use daily, and even though you might have some like little pieces here and there of stale bread, you won't have the amount you need for this recipe, like you know at once so you actually have to make this mindful conscious decision to go buy bread and make its tail so it was really funny for me when i was going two days ago with my husband to the bakery to buy fresh bread so that i could make it old somehow it was just so funny to me so that's actually i think everything i wanted to mention so now let's go over the ingredients and let's get started we're gonna need three links of Italian turkey sausage, links removed, 250 grams of stale bread, cut into two and a half centimeter cubes, 600 milliliters of chicken stock, one large onion, chop, one red bell pepper, chop, three stalks of celery, chopped as well, two cloves of garlic, minced, 30 grams of butter, divided into 15 and 15 grams, one and a half tablespoon of olive oil, one tablespoon of poultry seasoning, and salt and pepper. I have my largest non-stick skillet here, the largest one I own right now here, to which I'm gonna add my olive oil and one tablespoon of butter, and I'm gonna preheat them over medium-high heat, and once everything is really, really hot, I'm gonna add my turkey mix. Now, breaking it apart with a wooden spatula, I will cook for two minutes. have passed and this is how it looks like it's nowhere near being fully cooked but now the time has come to add all of the veggies in so that's the pepper celery onion garlic I'm gonna season everything with a little bit of salt and pepper and cook for seven minutes I want to add my poultry seasoning and cook it just for 30 seconds or so to waken it up. And now the mixing time. I have a large bowl, I have a large spoon, everything large because I have clearly a lot of stuff. I somehow felt that it will be less, but this is really a lot. So to this largest bowl, just because so that, just because so that, <laughs> oh, how about the show we say Lithuania, Lithuanian. So to the biggest bowl so that it would be easier for me to mix, I'm gonna add my bread, top it with the I don't know how else to call it than the yummy looking mixture. I'm gonna be adding a little bit chicken stock at a time and then just mixing with my large spoon until everything is nicely mixed through. And 
now this will go into this and this baking dish should be way bigger this is my small baking dish or cake pan as I call it and I'm gonna use this one just because I don't have currently any of my other baking pans you do want a bigger one just think if you have a bigger one you will have more surface which will get crunchy and crispy uh, so yeah but now looking at this look I'm not really sure will it fit I'm hoping for the best but let's see so this going into here okay I feel like it's a little bit pushing it but that will do now I'm gonna top it with the remaining one tablespoon of butter and actually that's why I cut it into these little little cubes because I'll just drop them all around the top of this I don't know, mixture and then put it into the oven for 25 minutes and I totally forgot to mention that I turned it on to preheat to 200 degrees at the same moment I started cooking well oh well now I'm mentioning so once that's done I'm gonna put it into 200 degrees Celsius preheated oven for 25 minutes I'm trying to assemble now a bite and I feel like I'm making a mess all the way up through okay it will be a bit hot mm-hmm it's nice bread is still very weird I mean it's all good, but oh, another thing: if you you're not a big fan of celery, <coughs> I'd say maybe skip the celery in this recipe, just because we're not cooking that long, so it really keeps its texture and strong flavor. I already got used to using celery in soups and stews because while you're cooking really long it kind of melts into the whatever dish you're cooking and like just gives a lot of flavor but you don't taste it that much but here like I see it I know I don't like it that much and it's really crunchy and it has celery taste which <laughs> what's it saying if it quacks like a duck and it walks like a duck it's a duck so it's a celery all right the bread is really soggy I think it's totally due to the small baking dish I used because if it was big then the liquid that was like there's still a little bit liquid it would have been a thinner layer of the liquid and it would have evaporated I feel like more now I totally when I was checking on it so it doesn't burn um, I totally saw that the liquid was bubbling away to the top of the baking dish which well explains the bread I mean there's nothing wrong with the bread it's super flavorful it's a little bit soggy bread how do you eat this? I mean, if there was no bread, I imagine I could make some mashed potatoes or some rice or something like that or some noodles or whatever, but now there's bread. What do I serve it with? Oh, the celery. I can totally see how I will be like removing it one by one. Don't get me wrong, I got used to celery, but not that much. Okay, so I'm still 
very curious about this dish. I'm like kind of on offense just because it's really unusual and just because I feel like because of the baking dish and maybe because of the bread I used, maybe I needed to make it older, <laughs> even older. Um, it kind of got into this whole one. There are some parts of bread left, but basically it kind of like disintegrated, I feel like. And I'm, I have no idea how to eat this. I think I will make a salad today, but tomorrow... I don't know. <laughs> and by the way, I totally remember that I didn't mention that in this particular uh, turkey sausage make meat mix, I actually used chicken just because I couldn't find any part of turkey anywhere. So there you have it. <laughs> A little secret in the very end. So if you know this dish, could you let me know how it should be? I feel like the top got a little bit more crunchier, but the rest of it was definitely like soft. I feel like this would be a very good meal to someone who has like teeth problem because it's super soft and you basically don't need to chew, except for the meat maybe. If you skip on the meat, it's like perfect like grandma, grandpa having issues with the food, <laughs> food I feel like. Anyways, I could chat on and on just because it's really new. I'm like bombarded by lots of different kinds of thoughts and ideas about this. But for now, I'll leave it that, I guess. So if you want, go and check the original recipe with Laura there. You can find, as I mentioned, the written recipe in the description box down below. Even if you don't try this recipe, I don't know, maybe mark somewhere or something. This is a great mix for the sausages. Like, I promise you that. I made it, I don't know how many times and I keep making it because it's really, really nice. And what else? Oh, the poultry seasoning also. Anyways, I shared everything what I can share with you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this was fun and helpful. Please let me know, is it what I was supposed to get? Or should it, should have it all been very crunchy? Do you like such things? Do you eat such things where you live? Because I know there are lots of people out there watching me who are not from Canada or, um, yeah, America, that's the word I forget. So I'm really curious, are you familiar with such kind of dish? And if not, would you dare to try like veggies and meat with bread? Still sounds kind of strange in such form. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!